Well, you've seen them all over town. They are unique and often massive lawn decorations. So who would walk off with a 300-pound chainsaw carving? That's what an Albuquerque couple is trying to figure out. Here's News 13's Gabrielle Burkhart. I'm very scared. Joan Newman was just moments away from coming face to face with this man. Home surveillance shows his black Chevy truck drive by again and again as he cases out her place in Northeast Albuquerque Wednesday afternoon. I mean, it's not locked, but it's he opened the gate. At one point, he walked right up to the front door to take a closer look at a massive piece of art. A 300 pound custom chainsaw carved bear you can see here. Not only is the bear heavy, it was also chained to the ground. It was a good six feet, five, six feet tall. You'll notice it's gone now, and someone saw what happened. The man returns a second time with wire cutters, breaks the bear's chain, then leaves. Just as he drives away, Newman takes her dogs out. In a way, I'm glad I didn't come out right when he was taking it to confront him because he could have been armed. <laughs> And she isn't sure her guard dogs would have helped. Three minutes after she walks back in, the black truck is back. The man parks right out front, lets his way onto the porch, this time with gloves. He appears to struggle for a while, then manages to lift the bear and haul it away. In broad daylight, decoration for his own home? I have no idea. The Newmans were both home, right inside the house, when the thieves drove by multiple times and eventually drug the 300-pound bear down these steps and took off. I'm amazed that he was able to pick that up. Newman hopes someone can ID the man with a number two and the name Ryan on his jersey. After all, neighbors were out and about. And what would someone want with a 300-pound bear carving? How dare someone come and just decide that they can help themselves to something that isn't theirs? Gabrielle Burkhart, KRQE News 13. To take a closer look at the thief, you can head to the story on KRQE.com and our KRQE News app.